Why, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Maxwell P. Ryan here coming to you with the first part of the video review of the Transformers Generations Titans Return Voyager Class Astro Train. So, here we are, and there he is. Now, first and foremost, as always, I would usually take a look at the packaging, but I don't have the packaging, but I do still have his collector card. So here is his card with a nice picture there of Astro Train. Hasbro, Titans Return, Astro Train picture. On this side of the bo on the card, we've got his name. His name is Astro Train. His, his Titan Master's name is Dark Moon. And by himself, he has a strength of 9, a speed of 10, the intelligence of, five, of 7. Ooh, it's not that smart. And the firepower of 6. But with Dark Moon added, he's got the speed, he's got the strength of 11, Speed of 11, Intelligence of 11, and a Firepower of 10. So that really helps to make them fairly well-rounded. Here we go. That's it for the card. Moving right along, here we have Astro Chain in what I consider to be his weakest mode, which is his Train mode. Which, when I first saw this, uh, when I first saw images of this figure, Back when he was released, what would that card say? It, back in 2015, so three, three, almost four years ago now. I'm like, eh, I'm skeptical. But I got him nonetheless. And you know what? I can't, I can't complain. I really enjoyed this figure, despite this train mode. So here we have him in his train mode, and he is very long. He is a very long train. And I do apologize for the light lighting it kind of fluctuating a little bit here or at least it is on my camera so here we have him in his train mode and it's a very nice long sleek train mode taking a close-up look at it we got lots of nice detailing on there my camera's working for me today but then again i'm back to my original set set place for reviews so but all around just very nicely detailed and if you take a lift up this side, the keyword being this side off the train, you even got more train detailing here. Going down, just very nicely detailed. Um, I took a silver sharpie and painted up all the wheels. Yeah, just really nicely detailed. Um, he's got three sets of wheels. He's got one here, one here, one here, so he can kind of roll this. Not very well. Um, he's got turrets so on both front and back, so he's a war train. And something just fell. Um, for a quick size comparison, here he is with Coim, as I call him. KO Iron Man. Here he is with Hulk. Lego Hulk. You have that. Here he is with little Lego Tony Stark. And have that. And eh, eh, here he is next to Colson with Lola. So uh, there you go. Now being a being a part of the Titans Return line, he does include a little Titan Master. And here is his little Titan Master buddy, who is really small. I mean, I've showed it up. <clears throat> I've showed it off before, but here he is, the Lego dude. So you can see just how small he is. Now the articulation on him is... So, here, try to get... I can't, there, oh, come on. There we go. Very, very nicely detailed. The interesting thing about Dark Moon here is that this is just a, the only part that's a remold on him is the upside down face. However, before Astro Train was released, we had this figure released as Sentinel Prime. And little Dark Moon here looked like Sentinel Prime's Prime Master. Titan Master. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, and the articulation is just the same. He's got a ball-jointed head. Arms can go up all the way. Can go in and out a little bit. Hips go forward. 
back, and then there's the bend both ways. Now you can incorporate into the vehicle mode here. So all you got to do is move these wings down here, take this purple canopy section here, open it up, and it's just two tabs, two slots. Get them into a sitting position. And before I put them in there, let's show off nice, nicely molded detail. I love how nicely detailed all these figures are, were in this line. Take them, set them down, set them in. There, close that up, and he fits just perfectly in there. Close that up, and now we got our train conductor going. Chugga 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 chugga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now he does also include a couple of accessories. He does include a two guns, one stylized after his G1 gun, and one that's just a standard Titan Master control gun thing. Now, two guns can plug into each other. Voila. Uh, this gun here fits, this one here fits very loosely into the, any port really that it's plugged into, so yeah, I can't get it to work. Yeah. But anyway, uh, nicely detailed, both of them. So, if you've got a Titan Master, we'll just take Hazard from Blitzwing here, and just sit him in there. You can have him piloting the gunship thingy. You can also take the two guns here and store them on the, um, uh, here, uh, uh oh yeah, doesn't really, this, you can plug them in there, or there's also a couple, and those parts are right there, or otherwise you can plug them into the two ports that are up here. This one I usually tend to do on that one, just simply because it's just that much more tighter, and it fits in. Or if you want to, there is the there is a secondary port on here, right here. You can plug it in on either, but it's still very, very loose fit. So, there's that. Take them out, Please take them, put them off to the side, and uh, the only thing to do now for the to conclude this video is to transform them into the uh, sp tra yeah, spaceship mode. To do that, you just take the wings from this tab that tabs into that slot, and this tab here that tabbed into that slot. Bring them up like so, and then rotate this thing, rotate the the canopy section here. It's just on this, like, this sw uh, joint thing right here. Swing it and put it, bring it, don't bring it down to tab it in yet. And this just tabs in right there. What you want to do from here is take the different wheel panels here, flip them up, and, that, and it's here on every single one. I do apologize for the fluctuation in colors, you guys. Untab the arms, it just kind of clips in nicely just clips in and start to bring the legs down before you do that open up these panels on his legs take them flip them around and then close it in flip it around close it in bring it and then bring them in together wheel will go into this little opening and this wheel will go into this little opening this tab will go into that slot there, and then these tabs, these tabs will just interlock within each other to tap in slot, and just close them all up. Bring this section back down. Take the arms, what will be the arms, bring them down like so. Come on, man's a little and What's wrong with my camera? Bring the wings down, they're on this double hinge, and they will go underneath this panel here, and then just tab right into the arm right there. 
do the same on this side here. Tab it into the arm. Underneath there. Bring the wings all the way down as I normally do and then just bring them up. So that way they form that shape. Come down under here. Flip out the landing gear. And voila! Here we've got him in his spaceship, space shuttle mode, which is actually my preferred mode out of the two. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of the same detailing transferred over here, and we got a nice new sets of detailing. Got a nice cockpit there. We got the just looks like a train. However, you come over here to the underside, and uh, you can see robot mode chest and arms. Back here you got uh, the thrusters, one, two, and then kind of these ones as well, where the head will eventually go be plugged into. And just all around, very nice. Um, no wheels, so but you can slide, so you can go or you can fold up the landing gears. You can have them go all kinds of whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> oh, that's I'm I'm sorry. Ah, tab it and all back together. I was kind of a little rough with him. Put him off to the side, and we'll just do a couple of. Well, actually, you know what? We're gonna skip the whole comparison thing for this video. And I will just end it here, bring him back into the centerpiece. So stay tuned for the second part of this video review. It shall be released later on today, if not tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, uh, just stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Give me, Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And subscribe for more content like this. I try to do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if it's not on Tuesday, and sometimes on Sundays. Where, where I have a buddy of mine try to announce it. Unlike this last week, you had me announce it today. I know, I know. I know. Ugh. So, but uh, yeah, just uh, stay tuned for that. And sh feel free to check me out on Facebook and on Instagram. There will be links in the description down below. And... Yeah. And also check out George the Puppet, who has Instagram. His link, his you find him. He will be linked in the description down below. And if you have any suggestions for what George should sing, because he does have a singing section of this channel, leave a suggestion for what he should sing in the comment section down below, or message him on Instagram. And so I think that just about does it. So this is the first part of the Astro Train review, and I will catch you all later with part two. Camera focus.